I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, a suspect is in custody after a double homicide in Cleveland. Rachel Johnson and her five-year-old son were found dead inside their home. Officers found them after Johnson didn't show up for work. Uh, we had a call to respond to Hillview Drive off Mouse Creek Road uh, to do a welfare check. Once officers arrived, they went to the residence, found two deceased individuals inside the residence. Right now, everything's real preliminary. We, we don't have a lot of answers. Police have not yet said how the two were killed. 31-year-old Ross Anderson is being charged in the case. Police say the two were living together. We'll have more details as they develop at timesfreepress.com. Tennessee may soon be getting an Indian reservation. A federal bill could return 76 acres of land in Monroe County to the Cherokee Indians. The land includes sites where the tribe was once headquartered. Representative Chuck Fleischman introduced the bill, which stipulates gambling operations cannot be established on the property. A man leaving his apartment for work was shot by a masked man in East Ridge. Police say 60-year-old Virtus Johnson was shot twice in the hand and the lower abdomen. He was taken to Erlanger Hospital. Anyone with information is asked to call the police. A man rescued four children from a house fire in East Lake. The children's parents were at work and the house had no working smoke detectors. 24-year-old Johnny Robinson rescued his cousin's children ages 1 to 4 before firefighters arrived. A man is charged with attempted homicide in East Ridge. Police say 18-year-old Matthew James Ryder terrorized a neighborhood December 4th. He allegedly broke into one neighbor's house, tackled another neighbor, and slammed the man's face into the ground repeatedly. Police say Ryder then struck Officer Corey Cleek in the head, knocking him out. He's been booked into the Hamilton County Jail. Mayor Andy Burke's former chief of staff will be the next U.S. District Court judge in East Tennessee. Travis McDonough was unanimously confirmed Monday by the U.S. Senate. He attended Suwannee and Vanderbilt before becoming an attorney at Miller & Martin. He'll be replacing Judge Curtis Collier. Construction starts next week on a new 10-story complex downtown. The $28 million project will fill a site on Market Street that's been vacant for 10 years. Groundbreaking is scheduled for 2 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. A bus driver is arrested on DUI charges after driving students in Tennessee. Authorities say 56-year-old Robert Michael Hoskinson drove high school students to the state championship football game. 56 students from Christ Presbyterian Academy in Nashville were on the bus. A bill would require anyone running for office in Tennessee to publicly release their credit score. The Voter Accountability and Transparency Act is being introduced by Representative Cameron Sutton and Senator Paul Bailey. The idea is that voters should know which candidates can't keep track of their own finances before they begin spending public money. The legislation would reportedly be the first of its kind in the country. A kayak company plans to open a factory in Knoxville. Lifetime Products says the $115 million plant should open in April 2017. The company plans to add 500 jobs. State GOP leaders want to defund the UT Office for Diversity and Inclusion. Earlier this year, the department encouraged students and professors to use gender-neutral pronouns. Most recently, it's accused of trying to eliminate Christmas from campus holiday parties. Finally, Memphis, Tennessee is getting gigabit internet. AT&T says it's working to launch the ultra-fast speeds in the city in 2016. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 63 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 39. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesfreepress.com.